I'm very pleased for them really because we worked very hard all, all winter as well and I think that the, the results of, uh, of that have been shown this summer. They've been full on and they're, they're, they've been playing well and uh, um, they've, they've deserved to, to have this day out today. Good tail. Adam won the toss here at Wormsley. Yeah. Fantastic venue, must be looking forward to this and all that must be really quite excited. Yeah, no, exactly, it's a great place to play cricket. Uh, we play some good cricket all through the through the league stage, which we obviously got on and won. Um, so today's a one off and, and we'll I'm sure we'll enjoy it. Yeah, we've got a good bowling unit and um, if we can get enough runs, um, I'm always confident that we'll defend it. So uh, let's hope we can get enough runs now. Weather looks a bit iffy, but uh, We'll look to take quite a measured approach really, we, uh, we're quite an aggressive side when we bat so if we take a little step back, uh, build a bit more and let our hitters come in a bit later on than they usually do, uh, put 220, 230, we're confident of uh, keeping them a bit lower than that, we're a very good bowling side so I think 230, 240 and we'll, we'll be okay. Bowling is probably our strength, so batting first means we can finish with our, with, our, with our gun card, hopefully. When we turned up, it was a, heavens opened a bit and it was a, it was a hell of a downpour, but um, yeah, as I said, it's nice to get, a, get some runs on the board to start with. Hopefully we can get over, over 200 and put a bit of pressure on Cardiff, definitely. When, when you come through the gate, you have about five, ten minutes of going through the ground, so it's an absolutely lovely setting. And just look, yeah, looking around, you couldn't, can't get better than this, really. Um, and yeah, we're just feeling very, very uh, lucky to be here. It's been a lot. I think we deserved it. I think over the course of the season, we deserve to be here. The ground gets better and better, particularly after we've had a lot of rain over the past uh, 12 hours or whatever, and then the sun comes out. It always looks beautiful here. I, I still would say that it's the nicest ground in the, in the world, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of picturesque. And the groundsman has been here ever since the start, and he prepares a fantastic wicket. And, and the outfield, as uh, you can see, is absolutely fantastic, and uh, there's, there's no better place to play, I don't think. Most beautiful setting, and it's our aim to get every game up and running. And uh, at 12 o'clock this morning, I thought we might not be getting any cricket in the way that that came down, but yeah, come up trumps in the end, so a bit of sunshine can't knock it. It doesn't really get better than this. Um, one of the most beautiful cricket grounds surely in the world. Uh, and as you can see just behind you there, fantastic game unravelling as the sun is still shining. And um, frankly, we're very excited to be down at Wormsley Cricket Ground. Um, and the players are absolutely buzzing with the opportunity to play here as well. Well, I say we've got sort of three facets to what we do here at Wormsley. We've got corporate entertainment, we have charity fundraising events, and then we have, um, without being disrespectful to the cricket those other games, we have our proper cricket days. And you know, it's great to have the unicorns coming and playing in the CB40. It's great to have this final here of the Bucks, Bucks competition. And um, we're looking forward very much to seeing the England women uh, team playing here as part of the quadrangular NatWest series. So we've got a nice range. It does justice to the quality of the facilities as well as the, the beautiful setting for a garden party. I often say it, that cricket is very lucky that uh, Sir Paul Getty was a great fan of the game and what he's produced here on the estate at Wormsley is, is, you know, is, is breathtaking, really is. And the attention to detail in the pavilion, um, the access to so much history in there and some of the artefacts that are in the pavilion alone are, are quite uh, amazing. On the face of it, at this stage, you, you're probably saying we're looking at uh, 53 for three after 13 overs and chasing 240 in 44 overs. It's, uh, I'd say that uh, you, the runs on the board do count, but uh, I know that uh, Cambridge certainly scored their runs in the second half of their innings, so let's hope some exciting batting to come.
We've been in existence for three years now as British universities and colleges sport um, and we run 50 sports right across the UK for all of our 160 or so member universities. We do about 170 events every year, this being our cricket finals, um, many individual and team events as well. We have a massive uh, championships that takes place in Sheffield every year where we bring together about 20 of our sports and run our championships finals there. Um, and next year of course our outdoor athletics will be the formal test event in the Olympic Stadium. So yeah, we're, it's all getting bigger and better. Uh, fantastic institutions making up these teams and yes you know they, these guys will come away with degrees and some will go on and put masters and some will go on to crickets in career and some will go on crickets in business and and similar so um it really is a it really is a fine day for these guys um who uh, you know have have the world at their feet when they finish it cambridge seems to be in the dominant position at the moment and hopefully we can try and turn something around and and hope our tail can wag but but yeah you know it's very competitive and 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 you know hopefully we'll try and try and try and pull through you know unfortunately things didn't quite go as we hoped um, they sort of probably got 20 too many um, in the field but um, yeah we probably haven't quite done ourselves justice but um, you know we've got a game on Monday um, and hopefully we can you know beat Durham and get a trophy in that that competition. winners and the Bucks Cricket Champions for 2011. They haven't been with us for a few years, it's Cambridge. I must be absolutely delighted to have come away with a trophy and man and match award, what a day. Yeah, an absolutely exceptional day for myself, but uh, most of all down to the team, a lot of hard work this year. And we've done really well, just topped off at a nice place and played really good cricket as well. It's been a long time coming, but uh, we've got a very good uh, group of players, uh, something special going on here. And uh, we're all here next year as well, so I'm sure we'll be fighting hard for it to retain it.